Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys make it through this long video. I had to cram it all into one video. So it is a little bit of Christmas haul, a little bit of decorate with me and a Christmas holiday house tour. Um, I wanted to make this as magical and memorable for Mason. I hope you guys enjoy it.
Urban from Costco. And then I have this little snowman that I got at Hobby Lobby. Let me just change his colors, he's super cute. Got him this year. Uh, these trees I actually had from last year, but they're from Michaels. And then our stockings are new this year. I got um, the initials from Target, the Mason one um, from the shop Disney. And then I put these little picks in there to make it kind of uh, like whimsical. You know, the little gingerbread, the gnome, the little picks, the candy. Oh my goodness, these are like my favorite. You'll see them throughout the house. And then we just have a little Santa sleigh right here. And I put his squishmallows in there because if I put anything else in there, he'll, he's just gonna grab it since it's on the floor. Um, so, and he actually loves squishmallows. I mean, who doesn't? You'll see them throughout my house as well. And then the nutcrackers, uh, this little guy was from last year. So we're gonna get one every year for Mason. And then the tall one is from this year. And I got that one at Hobby Lobby. He's super cute. I love him because he has these little uh, wooden things. Like it's a little present in the back. And then um, the little car, it just, it's just so cute. And then the um, stocking holders, I got those last year on clearance at Michael's at the end of Christmas. So they're new to us this year, but I got them last year. And they go so good because it just kind of blends in with the garland. So that's super fun. And then this is new as well. This is a vase that I got at Marshall's. And then I got these little picks for them and I didn't know which one I wanted. So I grabbed one Christmas eucalyptus and then the one in the front is pine. So I want to see which one would look better and then I would go back and buy more. Well, when I put them together, I actually liked how it looked. So I kept it. Um, and then because it's short, I put this on a little stand. It's a cookie jar lid, which I had the cookie jar in the kitchen and um i just try to cover up with this garland so you can't tell but um that's how that looks don't mind all mason's little toys in the house i can't do nothing about those but we did get him a light for the corner which is um a little mickey lamp post the bow came bent and it's really disappointing because this little piece was kind of expensive so um but i'm um, you know i'm not gonna return it so there's that and then we also bought this little one too from Lowe's this year. And uh, this one's fun, very glittery. It falls a lot, like a lot of glitter just falls everywhere, especially if the baby gets it, but it's fine. It's cute, it's worth it. So there is our mantle. And then I bought this little, um, I don't know, little Christmas decoration at Hobby Lobby, just because I needed something on the table right here. So I did that. Here is our Christmas pillows. Um, <laughs> These are so freaking cute. They're the gingerbread Mickey. We got the mini. They smell like gingerbread, which they're really cute. Um, kind of expensive. They're $26.99 each at Shop Disney, and they were really hard to get. They sold out fast, but now they have them in stock. So, And the last time I checked, they were still in stock. So I just put uh, new pillows on the couch, and then I have a tear tray. So... Um, where do I start? I mean, this is all new this year as well, except the tear tray itself that I've had, but I mean, I got the gnome little plant at Marshall's and because I got a couple gnomes, I thought it would go good. Um, so let's just see. The only thing that's not new on here are these. I got these at Michael's like, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago on Black Friday, but, um, everything else is new on it. It's a little snow globe mug i got that at marshall's i got this at michael's it says santa's milk uh, these are actually salt and pepper shakers but it goes perfect and then i have the little baby bear mama bear cups and i put some fake candy canes in there just to give it um oh no my little sign fell this is realistic right here guys so it says candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses and i thought that was cute because i put it in this little um, marshmallow. Oh no, it keeps falling with some real candy canes in there. We're back in business. Everything had kind of fell over. So, um, here's a sign that says candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses back there. And you can't really see it, but he's so cute. He's a little marshmallow cup and he has, uh, real candy canes in them. And then there's a little gingerbread sticking out right there. That's part of the salt and pepper shakers. And then we have, um, the little candy canes in the cup. We have another little gingerbread back there. 
And even though you can't see it, I'm like so like pay attention to details. So I thought that to make it look really full, I had to add all that even though you can't see it. But I love it. Super cute. I'm like, we'll just take a closer look. Okay. Okay, so here is my kitchen. And the first thing is I bought this rug at Marshall's. Um, and I think it was around $24.99, but I love it. I really didn't notice the pink in it, but I mean, it doesn't bother me because, you know, it's still red and green, very Christmassy. I don't have much in the kitchen. Um, I have my little towels, uh, Ray Dunn, of course, because I'm obsessed with Ray Dunn this season, um, which you'll see things throughout the house that are Ray Dunn. My little Disney cuppy, like how cute and it lights up. I had one for Halloween as well. And then I have this little plant. Um, that I keep out all year long, but I just put in this little tin to make it festive because I still wanted to have like a little plant right there. And then um, I have this little Christmas tree. This tree I got last year at Target and um, this year I brought it back out and I just decorated with red, white candy canes. And then my mom found me this little cute Ray Dunn basket at um, Marshall's this year. I love it. And then more of these um, little candy canes that you'll see throughout the house. I have about three little arrangements like this throughout the house uh, that really just go together. Love it. So, I mean, I am super extra. I even have a little reindeer scrubber. I actually have this little Christmas towel as well that I dry my hands with. Um, yeah. And then it goes into my dining room. Okay, so for my built-ins, this is what I got going on this year. Sorry, there's a little glare. Um, I'll try to fix that, but we'll start at the bottom. So here is another arrangement that I was talking about that I have throughout the house. Um, they're all similar, not the same, but they're pretty similar and they just kind of all go together. Those little candy canes that I really like, the little lollipops, they actually sold out when I went back. So. Um, I had to get different ones, but I really like how this turned out. I mean, literally everything's pretty much new on here this year, except the snow globe I had last year. Uh, I actually had two of them, but one turned yellow. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, so this is from Michael's. Um, and then this is from Hobby Lobby. I have one in my living room as well. And then I just bought the little, um, I don't know, basket at Michael's this year. I had that I Love Us already but I just added a candy cane and then I actually had this candle holder already but I just kind of made a little fun I don't know ornament arrangement so there's two Santas in there with some ornaments that match the tree in the kitchen so I really was trying to go for peppermint theme this year and I really wanted to just try to incorporate all that throughout the house uh, so there's that one these I just added some little pom-poms for Michaels in there because I didn't want to do too much right here I like my white dishes out and then I add this Santa. He's my favorite this year He is so cute. He is from uh, Michaels this year and then here's my favorite little candy lollipops um, that ran out at Hobby Lobby so I had to get different ones and then there's a gnome to match my um, Santa Claus and then these are to die for they're from Starbucks. They're little coffee cups and then here is some Ray Dunn ornaments it says gnome sweet gnome and that's why I have the little gnome right there um, and then I just added some ribbon because it felt really plain in there but I wanted to display them outside of my Christmas tree because I already have some Ray Dunn ones on my Christmas tree that you'll see and then these are from the dollar section in Target the little trees um, I had the little berries already and then this is so cute he is from Hobby Lobby this year and he actually plays music. Here, let me play him for you. And he is so cute. So he just goes along with my gnomes throughout the house. And then I got this star um, at Michael's and I actually got it for my tree, but I found a different star for my tree. So I put it up there. Um, the booze I actually had from last year uh, and they were from Home Goods. The Merry Christmas sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then that little peppermint tree, that is from Michaels this year. I wanted another one, but when I went back, they were sold out. So, you know, everybody's was doing Christmas earlier this year and uh, I actually got a head start. That's why I was able to find half the stuff that I found. But there is my built-ins. 
So then we go to the other side and um, I wanted to still keep all my family's pictures out. I mean, that's why you see my dad up here and then like me and Mason, Steven and Mason, because that's still, you know, important to me. So I had to work around that still. Um, I know some people take their pictures down for their Christmas decorations, but I mean, I didn't have that much that I needed to do that. I mean, I did buy all new decorations this year and it was very, very costly for us, but it was worth it. This will be my theme for the next couple of years. So um, this little, you know, faux plant is for Marshalls this year, along with my Merry Christmas Ray Dunn gnome. He is so cute. He's also from Marshalls. And then more of the little trees from Target. And then um, I bought some cinnamon sticks and I just kind of get got that cute ribbon that looks like candy, like a candy belt thing. It is so cute. Um, and then here, this is actually from Michael's with the little pom-poms. These little sticks are from Michael's. The candy canes from Michael's. And then these little swirly things are from Hobby Lobby. So I just added that because I like to keep my little basket out. And then he is from Shop Disney. He is so cute. Hookies for Santa and he's ceramic. So that's awesome. And he came with this little milk jug with the little peppermint straw. Like, oh my goodness, like why not? Like I, I had to, I couldn't pass him up. Um, I actually played, I actually paid shipping for him, which I never pay shipping on Shop Disney. I'll just spend the 75 to get free shipping, but I already had to like two big Disney hauls and then he came out and I was like, no, got to get him. And then here is my Ray Dunn. I found him this year at Marshall's. He is so cute. He's a cookie jar. It says, ho, ho, ho. These are very hard to find when I seen it. It was the last one. Grabbed it. Uh, these marshmallows are new for me as well. I got them off Amazon and I just kind of filled them with candy and um peppermint little sticks which i have another one on the tear tray in the living room and then i got this sign and it says santa we have cookies stop here and you can't see it all but it really gives it color so i added that right there if you can kind of see far it was very white and plain i needed something red right there and i actually have the merry christmas sign and i liked it better but um i don't want to switch it out <laughs> And then this plant, I actually have all year long on it. And I just added little berries to it to make it festive. And then um, all my picks, they're all new this year. Again, the Christmas tree is from the dollar section at Target. I think they're like three bucks. And then um, I had already my little ornament that's also on the tier tray. Those are from last year. And I got those at Michael's a few years ago. Um, and then up here, that is my cookie jar. If you guys remember me saying the lid was on the mantle holding up that little arrangement, it goes to that. I added a little tree. That tree is actually a smaller version of the one in the kitchen. So I just thought it would be really cute to add in the cookie jar. It looks like a vase. Like, I love it. And then um, this is also new. I got that at Michael's this year. And it's really small. It, it really adds color to um, the top of the built-ins. My Christmas tree, my favorite part this year. I mean, I need to get an extension cord, but I mean, it's not bothering me that bad. So we'll start from the bottom, which is the little, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. I don't remember, not a tree skirt. I don't know, I, I'm totally having a brain fart. I say it all the time. Anyways, it's my little basket tree skirt. Um, 
thing and it really goes with my house. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have this little sign up here and that's for Michael's as well this year and it says Christmas magic. Like how cute Disney-ish theme. Like I really wanted to do the peppermint this year and incorporate Mickey. So you'll see Mickey because my whole room is Mickey and then I incorporated, well, you see on the built-ins that I had that little Mickey plate and cup set. And then I have some Mickey ornaments in here, which let me just tell you, Mickey ornaments are so damn expensive, but I just went all out this year. Like if I'm gonna buy all new stuff, then I just went out with the bang. So um, yeah. So, and then before I start my Christmas tree, I had this sign from last year. And then it says what happens under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe. So I just kind of hang that there for some color. But that said, um, we'll go back to my tree. So I call this my Ma Mason's tree because I have M's throughout the tree. And last year I had some M's as well, but we didn't have peppermint themes. So I really took it to the next level. So first I'll let you guys know that this is a pre-lit tree. It's artificial. Um, it's very gappy. I kind of like it. Next year I think I'm going to get a new tree though, since I invested in a lot of decorations this year. Next year I think I'm going to invest in a really good tree. So what I did was I added these big lights to it and it kind of makes it look like ornaments. But I love that it really, you know filled in the tree a little bit better. I wish I got two strands, but you know, one will do this year. Um, so my first purchase of the tree were these big ornaments. Like, oh my goodness, he is so cute. He came, uh, it came with Santa. It came with this cute reindeer. And then it came with the elf. And even though I don't have a lot of browns, it has reds and greens in it. And then, you know, some white. So I, I definitely was okay with that. Um, and then here is my Ray Dunn ornaments, like the gnome sweet gnome ones, but this one says home sweet home. So I have like the home, the sweet, and here's the other one, home. And that just, when I seen them, had to have them. A little pricey for three or four ornaments. Yeah, I think it came with another ornament. Oh yeah, this one, the little car. But they're Ray Dunn, so I got them. And then um, next was these big candy canes lollipops. And those are for Michaels. It really just added to my tree along with the little candy canes. And then I have those actually out through the house, but those also came um, for Michaels. And then I wish I bought more of these cause they're sold out now. They're really big peppermint looking candy cane ornaments. And they really, really, really helped the tree have this peppermint look. And I have another one. It was a three pack for $10 at Target and I should have got two, but you know, it is what it is next year. And then let's go over the M's. The M, this M is from last year. And then that M is from last year. But this year I added a M, a R and an H for Mason's initials. And then there are colors like, come on. Those are from Michael's. So we have Mason, Randy, Hawkins and they are sparkly glitter candy canes perfect for my theme like oh my goodness I could not have passed those up and I actually bought those before there were sales like I got it like in late October um, now they're on sale but I didn't even want to risk not finding his initials so uh, also we added these little sticks the little candy sticks that you can see throughout the tree um, let's go over the Disney ornaments that I do have so my first Disney ornament purchase this year were these ears. They're peppermint, they're right up our alley. Had to get them, got them off Shop Disney. Um, I also got this one off Shop Disney this year. He is super cute. And let me tell you, all these ornaments were like 20 plus dollars, like ridiculously uh, expensive, but you know, I still bought them this, you know, despite the fact that they're really costly, so. And then I actually have another one of the same and then this one, oh my goodness, I actually found this at CVS. I was just there picking up my grandma's medicine and I went in and they had him and he's so cute and he was only like 10 bucks. Super cute. Um, my other one that I got is from Shop Disney as well and he is so cute. He's a dome. He came broken and um, so I contacted them. They had no more in stock. There's a little mistletoe. Uh, they had no more in stock so they had to refund me my money so i actually just glued it if you can see it's kind of like snowy looking because that's the glue i couldn't clean it but whatever i got refunded like my 25 dollars for this and i still got to keep it by just fixing it and 
and I thought I had another Disney one, but I mean, that's fine because Mason has a whole Disney tree in the room with all Disney ornaments. So um, yeah, we'll go, we're, we'll go over those as well. I think that's it. I mean, some of them are kind of from last year, like his little baby one right here. He's so cute, look, his initial. He's so stinking cute. Like that one is from last year. That was his first Christmas. Every year I do want to get one. So this year it's um, this one and you know, it's peppermint. So I had to get it. She didn't have the best handwriting though, like last year. All my other ones are great from last year. And this one's just like, I don't know, blah. And these are kind of expensive too. But nonetheless, I'll be getting one every year for us. I have another one right there. And then I have this one. This one was our first last year too. So our first Christmas. And that one was us as a family. So here's a tree from this side. And then our star is actually a little decoration piece. Uh, it's like a wall hanging star, but I didn't want just a regular like glitter star. I wanted something a little bit more subtle. And I love the size of this star. I think it goes perfect on my tree. And remember I bought this one for it, but then I seen this one and I was like, oh my goodness, yes. So when I put it on, I just knew immediately that it was meant. So here is my tree from afar. And I will show you guys at night too, cause it, it needs to be seen at night. But yeah, I mean, I'm super happy with my tree this year. Like super happy. I think this is hands down like the best tree I did. And remind you, this is my first like miss, not miss, mix match tree. <laughs> Everybody says mismatch, mix match tree. So this is the first time I've ever done like different ornaments. I've always just kind of stuck to a theme like all gold balls or white, you know, the Christmas ornaments or all gold star picks or, uh, but this one is like really all over the place, but they all match in its own good way. Like, I love it. Okay, so now that the tree is over, I just wanted to be realistic about my table. I wish it was a cute setup, but I actually work from home. So this is where I work on my table um, because my house is so small. So, I mean, this is it from afar. And so just a few things on my table is my MacBook. Um, and then I have these two cups, super cute gingerbread cup with some Christmas pins. I know, super, super extra. Um, and then I have this notepad, which is also Christmassy. But like my pins are super cute like that santa oh my goodness and i just kind of found these like at marshall's um this is like a little mickey christmas pin if you could see the little mickeys on there and i got that at walgreens this was from michael's a little tinsel christmas tree one but these are my actually favorite pins to write with these big thick ones right here so i have a christmas tree one and then i have a candy cane one and then it just you know has some glitter but the pin itself it actually writes pretty dang good so um and yes i do do my notes on this little merry christmas notepad so this is just my setup where i work i usually have like a mouse and another screen and a keyboard but you know i wanted to make it aesthetically pleasing for the video and then i have this little reindeer bowl which i also got at marshall's this year and i just kind of filled it up with some um almond kisses which you know is a good snack and then I found this tin, this Pixar's um, Christmas tin at CVS, and it just has all the little um, Pixar people on there, like Lightning McQueen, we have Buzz, uh, we have Sully, Sully's my favorite, Mater, and um, yeah, so this is just kind of where I work. Here is my bathroom for the holidays. So you could see I have a Ray Dunn sign on the wall. I love Ray Dunn, you guys know that. Ray Dunn towel. Um, I got this cute little holder. It has all the little glitter. You could probably see the glitter more if I put on the bigger light. Oh yeah, look at all that glitter. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's a little, um, soap dispenser holder but i also have the winter candy apple in here love it it's foam it's easier um i actually like the the gel one better but they don't have the dispensers for the gel so i settle for the foam just to have this dispenser and then here's another surprise surprise another little arrangement in the bathroom that i made 
um, just threw everything together since it still goes with my peppermint candy cane theme this year. And then I got this super cute uh, wallflower. It's my first time actually getting a wallflower from Bath & Body Works, but it's super cute. It's so I actually have the same um, scent, the winter candy apple, as my uh, soap. And then my Ray Dental. And then my Ray Dunn sign, Believe. So again, this is how it looks. Super simple, clean. Um, and then over here, I have another Ray Dunn Christmas towel hanging that matches that one. And then behind the toilet, it was super bare. So um, I went and got this sign and it says all the reindeers. Um, and I like it that it's red and white. So also another peppermint color theme. And then I got this cute Christmas tree. He's super like old school looking at Marshall's. And I'm sorry, that one's for Michael's. Um, and then this little ornament candle, that's for Michael's as well. But this is for Marshall's. He's super cute. He has bows on him. Um, and I just like that he's old school. And it gives it some color. And what I love about this is that it has the red, the yellow, and the purple in it. And at first I was like, uh, do I want those colors? But then this has those colors, the blue, the purple, the yellow, just like in the sleigh. So I feel like it goes hand in hand. But yeah, and then I have, you know, different lights in here, different tones, or you can just, and that's also a night light, did I mention? Super cute, but I like the warm light. That it's just more subtle. So from the bathroom, we go into our room. I am currently washing our comforter. That's why we don't have one on the bed right now. But I also decorated in here for Mason. So he has this like little Christmas section. Uh, first, I hung this garland. <laughs> Steven says it looks like um, like the Italian colors, but it's Christmas. Sorry for the sirens in the back. And so we'll get started. So I made him a little Christmas tree Mickey village right here. So I try to get everything Christmas trees or um, it has some kind of Christmas tree or Mickey in it. So uh, I found this cute little snow globe at um, I think CVS. And then this little Christmas tree, he actually lights up. He's really cute. And I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then this one actually lights up as well. You can see if I turn off the light that one glows and he is from the Disney store. So he's super cute. He actually has um, little characters around him and then the like, tr uh, not tree, the present under the Christmas tree, if you can see right there. I love him. He was kind of pricey, but worth it, especially because I wanted to do this little Christmas tree village for Mason. And then here I have another snow globe. I actually got this at Lowe's and it plays different Christmas music. So that's really fun. And then we'll turn that off. Oh, I forgot to light up my little tree. Okay, back in business. So here is a little Mickey Christmas tree. He's actually decorating it and he turns on. He's really, really, really loud. How do I turn him on? Give me a sec. Okay, so here he is turned on. So he's climbing the ladder, going up and down, decorating the tree. I actually don't leave him on because he's really loud and really bright, especially when this light's turned off. Let's see. Okay. And then here, actually, I'll leave the light off so you can see this Christmas tree snow, like, ornament globe thing. It's so cute, full of glitter. The train goes around with presents, and um, when the glitter accumulates too much on the tracks, it slows down, but it's totally fine. It's so freaking cute. Like, this was so worth it. This, this one was a little pricey as well. I think he was around $60. But worth it because it just makes this whole little Christmas tree Mickey village. And then here is some ornaments that I have on an ornament stand. And the ornament stand's actually the Mickey ears. 
So here is some ornaments that I got at the Disney store. So that's Disneyland with California Adventures. I love it. That is actually my favorite ornament. And then here's Disneyland again with Minnie and Mickey um, in front of the Sleeping Beauty Castle. I absolutely love these two. These are by far my favorite ornaments. And then I have Jiminy Cricket back there, which I actually had for a while, but um, I never brought him out. He was in the box, so I brought him out this year. And then this is a Christmas tree snow globe candle holder. Oh my goodness. It also has a train around. It doesn't move. Um, it has like a slight little light in there. It's very dim. And then I think also it's the batteries are dying, so that's why it's also very low. And then um, it's a candle holder, so here's a candle on it. And then I put a little Pluto and Mickey ornament on top of it just to give it um, a little bit more Christmas decoration feel. Okay, so from the cute little Pluto and Mickey ornament on the candle holder is a Mickey sign that I found at Marshall's. He is very cute, love it. It fits right in with this tree Mickey thing because it's a tree, obviously. So we have all these Christmas trees and Mickey. And I just think it goes so well. And then a touch of ornaments. And then the fun part is his Christmas tree. So I have it in this corner and I found this little Christmas tree. It's like a little Charlie Brown gappy Christmas tree, but I found it at Hobby Lobby for like 10 bucks. And um, I thought it was super cute and, be and perfect. So there's his little star. He has Lightning McQueen. He has Slinky Dog. And we love Pixar and Mickey, so um, whatever Christmas ornaments I was able to find that was Pixar or Disney, I went ahead and grabbed. And then this little sign is actually from Hobby Lobby and it says, Oh boy, Christmas. And I thought it'd be cute as an ornament. Then I have Woody. I have an accumulation of different Mickey. So that one says dream. That one's another Hallmark one with, um, it's just him, a little Santa. This one is an exclusive. It's a little ears and he actually plays music. So he's very cute. I think it's like a anniversary ornament. But I got that one at um, Kohl's and I think they were like 20 bucks. Which half of these were really expensive. Like the Lightning McQueen was also like $26.99. Um, but then these big ones were like 9 bucks at Target. So they were like a hit or miss. Whatever I was able to find. And then I have a little alien guy. I have the child Hallmark one. Okay, he turned off. I have Forky, um, and then I have a Mickey stocking that I used as an ornament. Um, I have a little game controller for him with his name on it, but that's not that Disney. But his tree is my favorite. And then I got, and then I got these little colored lights, if I can talk, at um, Michael's. And I love them because it's like Pixar, so you know Pixar's are all colorful. But it wasn't enough, so I went back and I got these little bulbs to add. So it's like a mixture of uh, the white lights and then the colored lights. And I just love his Christmas tree. There's Mickey sitting on his chair. But I can't get like a good angle of it. Let me see if I can turn on the light. You can see it better. There we go. So there is a mixture of all his little ornaments. Super fun. Oh, and I forgot there's a little Mickey sled guy in the back. And then we already, we've always had that Toy Story little shelf up for him. That glitter is just life. So that's a look of his little dresser. And then over here, don't mind our bed. It's crazy with all our squishmallows. We're obsessed with squishmallows. And I'm just waiting for my comforter to be done. I found this at Lowe's, he's so cute. Let me fix him because he's a little crooked. So he is a little Christmas wreath and I thought it'd be super cute in the room. It actually needs to be centered, but uh, you know, it's almost Christmas and I'm not gonna waste another command strip um, centering him a little bit better. But he is by far my favorite piece this year from Christmas. I am so happy with him. I love the LED lights and I'm, I'm so happy I got him. Actually, I didn't even get him, Steven did. And when he brought it home in November, I was like, yes. And then we also picked up some little Christmas lights that are hanging on his dresser here. I didn't know where to hang them in, in, our, in our house. Um, so I just put them on our little built-in dresser that we have from him from Ikea. And it just kind of just goes around. Um, it's just this year. I don't know. Next year I'll probably hang them so you could see that it went on the side as well. I don't know if you could see that. There we go. 
so there that's how it looks but I'm not you know that happy with it but you know it's fine this year and then those are his little basket of plush all of course Pixar Disney a bunch of other little stuff and then just real quick he has a little touch of a snowman right here on his shelf that lights up this was actually Steven's he's had it for like I don't even know like eight years so we pass it on to Mason and that battery still works like we haven't even changed it out and then right here is just a little glass robot ornament I loved it when I seen it I know it's not Disney but it's so colorful it's so cute and I thought it would be cute in the little you know Buzz Lightyear section on his shelf so yeah there's his little Christmas room nothing crazy this this obviously makes it he has a tree i mean everything makes it it's it's really nice i love it i like to just lay in here and look at all his little stuff i like that candle but i usually take it out of the room with the candle holder and just like go put it on the table or something but this by far is like one of my favorite pieces that and this mickey one and he and like i said he was kind of pricey on shop disney i think he was around 50 bucks but yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. This was our Christmas house tour. Sorry that I was um, so late on getting it up. It's literally like a week before Christmas, but hey, better late than never. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video.